Hey y'all, it's Jeremy Osterberger. We're here at Downstream USA 2023. I'm with Joe Brenz, co-founder and CEO of EIS Engineering and Inspe Inspection Services. Joe, how you been? Good, I'm doing, uh, having a fun time here at the conference. So uh, Joe, we can't go too long without ask for answering the question, what are you wearing? Well, I mean, we typically tell, tell our uh, customers that it's like a dirty bomb, but it's really not that, right? It's, uh, it's a 3D scanner. It's a mobile 3D scanner that we use to uh, basically capture the environment that we're in. So, Joe, the term is reality capture, uh, but talk about how that term has come about, right? Talk about 3D scanning, digital twins, and, of course, now reality capture. You give us a quick history. Sure. So, in the, pa in the past, you know, Scanners have been around for the last 20, 30 years. Everybody's been using tripod scanners for a long time. And uh, over the last two years, it's evolved to a mobile scanner, which is what we have now. The terms, you know, went from 3D scanning, scanning to reality capture. So it's reality capture is more of an appropriate name at this point or naming convention because you're capturing the reality, right, at this point. And you're capturing the reality as we see it now, today. Doesn't mean you're going to see it. It's going to be the same in the future because you know, we don't have scanners scanning constantly, right, 24-7. So this is scanned basically, you know, from today, June 6th or 7th, whatever it is, June 7th. This is the reality as of today. So, so Joe, stepping back a little bit, you know, we talked about reality capture, but where all is that application? Are we talking about inspections? We're talking about, uh, you know, uh, scanning existing assets. Uh, talk a little bit about EIS and its role in this refining and petrochemical space. Yeah, sure. Uh, so. Historically, EIS has always used scanners to do all our engineering and design work. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's happened now with the advent of the mobile scanners, which is what I have here, the, uh, the time to scan has been reduced by roughly 90%. The accuracy is about a quarter inch over 70 meters with these machines. The Faro scanners or, or the, the tripod scanners that we use, typically we can get about a sixteenth of an inch uh, accuracy. But for most of our needs, when it comes to piping systems, these scanners work just fine. So the time to scan has been reduced drastically, which now means that other functions in refineries and chemical plants, such as turnaround planning, maintenance planning, operational planning, procedure writing, uh, tr uh, procedure or operational training can all be done off of 3D imaging. And so turnaround planning for some of our clients right now, they, they're doing bid walks virtually. They'll, we'll scan an area for them the, that, that's in question or an area that they want to redo or send the bid out. And the next thing you know is they send the bid out via PDF files or, or drawings that come from these machines without having to have anybody on the, in, step foot in the, in the plant. So, you know, the true digital twin concept is that what you're looking at at that particular time, point in time, is truly a digital twin uh, of, of what's in the field, right? So, Joe, uh, talking about EIS, give me some geographic uh, coverage for you guys. Most of the Gulf Coast, uh, where else do you guys would do work? So, yeah, we're on the Gulf Coast, uh, anywhere between Mississippi all the way down to Galveston, this area. Uh, we also do a lot of work in the uh, Jolie, uh, Illinois area, yep. uh, Utah area. So we're pretty much nationwide. We have offices in Metairie, which is where we're based out of Louisiana, and office in Beaumont as well. And uh, so, no, we, we're pretty much nationwide, but strategically, or, or our concentration is the Gulf Coast. Uh, we are the largest, uh, uh, we have the largest fleet of these uh, machines in the Gulf Coast at five, and we're the second largest uh, in the nation of these machines. Well, Joey, thank you for hanging out with us. If folks want to learn more about EIS, uh, tell them where to go. EISLLC.net. Well, Joe, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate our relationship. Of course, you guys have done some marketing in BIT. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience? We've done some uh, webinars and some content together. Great experience with you guys. You guys understand the business well. So it's, it's, it makes it a lot easier for us to come to you guys and say, hey, what do you think about this? How can we, how can we uh, market this uh, service? You guys have the insight to help us with that. So it's always my pleasure working with you guys. Joe, we thank you so much for your time and greatly appreciate our partnership.